The world of dating is filled with pitfalls, but as a new romance deepens, when and how should the delicate topic of finances be broached? Here to help us figure it out is the moneyologist, Quentin Fattrell. Quentin, great to see you. And you. So, your reader has been dating someone for about three months. He or she, it's unclear which your reader Alex, is. Alex. It was Alex, one right, names. one of those names. Believes that they are exclusive and is happy in the relationship, but she has one question. Right, which is, what point do, does she, let's see what she ask him how much he earns? And, and why is this so important to because her? Because she wants to meet, she wants to plan, she thinks this is a long-term relationship, she wants to plan ahead, she wants a partner who earns as much as her, if not more, mm -hmm. and she wants to feel secure. So she has been tempted, she said, to rifle through his drawers while he was out, but she resisted. That's good that she's resisted that. Yes. Now, this is a delicate topic, though. I, I mean, it is a very difficult one to broach. A lot of people might be offended at bringing this up in a romantic situation, and he might just head for the door. Bolt. Bolt, right? So what was your advice to her? Seeming, seeing that dating sites very often list this information, is that true? Right, so they sometimes do ask for your income. So it's hard to, we are a product of the environment we live in and it's hard to, it's hard to really criticize her for being curious mm -hmm. because, um, you know, she has things that she wants to know. And, but um, yeah, I think it's important for her to realize that he may not be happy with her um, asking out front. And you know, I have to say, we don't know if this reader is a man or a woman, but you looked into whether or not women or men are more concerned about this during dating, and what did you find? Well, the studies show that women are more concerned. They want to meet, uh, more women want to meet men who have a steady a job more than um, men care about that less. Um, it's, uh, salary is more of a priority for women than it is for men in dating. That's another academic study. But a lot of people do look for things like kindness and other qualities as well. Sure. So it's a mixed bag. But yes, uh, more women do look for this. But you can't blame them. I mean, so many women nowadays have they're working hard. They have great careers. They don't necessarily want to support a deadbeat. They want an equal. Do you know right. what I mean? Right. <laughs> Absolutely. And more so than not, it's women who who sometimes have to take career breaks, right? you know, so it's more, uh, in many cases, uh, it's the man who ends up, for that period of time anyway, shouldering the, the financial responsibilities and also um, because he, men take less career breaks for, for uh, children, mm -hmm. they don't, their salary doesn't suffer as much. So what was your advice to Alex here? Well, I figure that at this point it is a bit early to talk about how much you earn and I think that when they move in together, uh, before you move in with somebody, then you start looking at your at your expenses, your um, your budgets, and things like that. Right. But I would be very reluctant to really broach uh, how much do you earn. You know, so it's three interesting. Months into she's, she's definitely analyzed the signs. You know, she says he has a nice apartment. He doesn't have a country house. Right. She or he, we don't know which. You could tell a lot about somebody She's by analyzed, dating them for three months. But, but he's self-employed, which worries her. Right, and that he's a consultant, she doesn't really know what that means. Right. So she's like, I don't know, is he getting like, you know, six figures? Is he getting seven figures? Right. Um, and you say that's normal. We make snap judgments about people's socioeconomic status every before time. Before you even, see them. Uh, yes, when you see them on a dating yeah. site or when right. you see them in person, it's their clothes, it's how they present themselves, it's how they hold themselves, whether they look healthy, right. whether how they, and then then they open their mouth and then you have things like accents and the kinds of topics they cover where they went to college wow. what books they read what they're in, you know there's a huge amount of information that whether we like to admit it or not we're constantly um, processing of course we are so it's that's why I say it's easy to criticize somebody who yeah. writes this letter right. and it's very blunt but everybody does it every second of every day Quentin Vitrell so wise as always thank you so much for being with my us my pleasure